you can put whatever you want in chili. Yeah. It's sort it of is. like a rotating cast of ingredients. So we're gonna start the way that most soups that you'll ever make start with, and that's with aromatics and onion and garlic. If you don't have garlic, you can use a shallot, you could use some scallions, basically any allium. Should we get our pan heated? Yeah, I'll heat some olive oil. Okay, great. Just finished chopping this up. And you can really like just do a rough chop for everything. I'm gonna smash a couple of garlic cloves to, oops. <laughs> really smash them. <laughs> the garlic will just go in with the other vegetables. Okay, so our vegetables are sautéing and we're just gonna wait until... I just think maybe one more minute so the pepper like slouches. Yeah, it gets a little slouchy. Yeah. yeah. The skin gets a little wrinkly. Yeah, it sort of relaxes a little bit. It's looking kind of uptight right now. <laughs> it's looking uptight. Okay, I need cumin. Paprika. Turmeric. I add a little less turmeric. And chili. I'm gonna add about two to three times the amount of chili as I added other spices just because chili is the primary flavor. Stir that, make sure all the vegetables get nice and coated. I like to let the spices sort of like toast in there a little mm -hmm. bit. Me and too. let it saute for just a minute or two before we add in the rest of the stuff. Okay, I'm gonna dump them in. Do it. You can use crushed if you want. You can also use them whole and crush them as soon as you put them in the pot. Or if you're really on top of your game and you've preserved some from last season or something, <laughs> which I have yet to do. So we're using three kinds of beans, black beans, pinto beans, and some chickpeas. Whenever you're using canned beans, it's a good idea to rinse them. It's a cleaner flavor and you don't want that slimy stuff at the bottom of the can. <laughs> so liquid time? Yeah. We're gonna add some liquid. You can use stock, you can use water if you want. I like to use beer because it's more fun. One is usually enough, but it looks like this might need actually a little bit more liquid. You want it to be fairly soupy. Like amount of stuff you have in the pot, you basically want to double that when you add the liquid. So I'm gonna supplement with some water here. And if I sneak in. So now we're just going to bring it to a simmer and let it cook for about 20 minutes until it's thickened the way we want it. Obviously, some people like thicker chili. I think it's ready. It looks great. I'll ladle it. So we just have some garnishes here, some cheddar cheese, cilantro, avocado. The melty cheddar cheese on top is the best part. Tell me one. More? More. More. I guess it's not that weird, but I like to like scoop it up with tortilla chips. I feel like my mom used to do it. It's good, I like the beer. It adds a cool tartness to it. It works, to it. right? Mm -hmm. Sort of like the ultimate pantry soup.